electric trucks. Siemens and the truck manufacturer Scania have developed a hybrid electric truck that works similarly to a trolley bus. That is, it receives electricity through a two-wire contact network. To date, the developers have already moved to the testing phase, which takes place on a 1.2-mile stretch on a Swedish route. In addition, a new testing area is being prepared on tracks near Los Angeles. Although the idea is not new, it has good prospects in the future. According to experts, by 2050, the volume of cargo road transport can grow by 200% which will cause a significant rise in fuel prices and negatively affect the environment. Meanwhile, the truck trolley bus is equipped with a pantograph, a special connection network with power lines. If during the movement the driver wants to overtake another vehicle which is going too slowly, you just have to use the turn signal. This will automatically turn off the pantograph and the truck will overtake the other vehicle using an electric motor. Nappen Trailers This type of trailer was designed to transport sugar beets from the fields. In addition to the root vegetable, these vehicles are ideally suited for backing haul, for example for utilization or processing fuel. The volume of the cargo area is 2500 cubic feet, and each trailer is protected from overturning, making them much more effective than universal dump trucks. As a top coating, the manufacturer offers a tarp to prevent loss or damage to the goods during transportation. To load or unload, the driver doesn't need to leave the cabin thanks to a remote control system. A small remote equipped with 12 buttons is used to perform any necessary actions. Float liner. This unusual truck was designed to transport the so-called jumbo glass, a large architectural glass about 20 by 10 feet in size, but its maximum length can reach 30 feet. This glass is mainly used in facade construction to cover large surfaces with solid glass sheets, for example for shopping windows. The float liner is specially designed to transport flat glass pyramids without supports, with a full lowering function, in which a special fastening system guarantees the stability of each sheet. It is noteworthy that the truck unloads itself. It's also worth noting that the truck can transport glass in ordinary containers, for example wooden boxes. Super dumps. These trucks allow transportation of goods weighing up to 26 tons on the same roads as other trucks or dumpers. However, its distinctive feature are its axes from 3 to 7 depending on the model. Their number can be adjusted depending on the requirements of one or another country. This feature makes this truck unique in its possibilities in most countries. It has three fixed axes and can additionally connect four more, three of which work simultaneously, and the seventh in the form of a folding axis. It leans back up, which greatly facilitates the passage of the truck on public roads. Truck Custom This incredible truck has not only an impressive appearance, but also one important feature you can live in it. This vehicle is equipped with a separate compartment for the driver to sleep, and unlike most models where you don't have to sleep directly in the cabin, the compartment itself is divided into two sections, one for rest and another for a motorcycle.
At the same time, there is a hydraulic mini lift to lift the motorcycle up and down, easily controlled from the handheld console. The sleeping section is equipped with a large folding bed, storage cups along the perimeter, a kitchen with a comfortable worktop, a sink, a table and even a fridge, a place for a microwave and an oven. There is also a place for a shower and a small toilet. Caterpillar AD60 The largest in its range, this dump truck with an articulated frame was designed for underground work. With a total mass of 110 tons, this model has a payload capacity of 60 tons. You can place 1200 cubic feet of rock on the cargo area. The vehicle comes with an 805 horsepower power unit, which works along with a 7 speed gearbox. The dump truck is equipped with an electronic control system, which among other things is responsible for the remote fuel injection. Futuria Unlike other trucks in our list, this is rather a fully-fledged house on wheels. It's equipped with a swimming pool on the roof, a garage for a sports car with a mirror ceiling, a living room, a bedroom, a solarium and many other features. The vehicle moves thanks to a 3-litre, 4-cylinder diesel engine that can deliver up to 170 horsepower. The truck trailer was developed in cooperation with a well-known manufacturer of mobile homes, and therefore, the creators were able to take into account the needs and wishes of future owners. The garage for the sports car is located at the back of the house on wheels. Multi-lift this additional equipment for man trucks allows you to unload the cargo easily in different ways. For example, you can have a reversible cargo body or a removable one. It is noteworthy that the winch integrates easily with the base of the truck, works hydraulically and is controlled using a hand remote control. All joints of the moving parts are designed for maximum efficiency and minimal operational maintenance. In addition to the winch, the manufacturer offers a system of automatic covering using tarpaulin or other coating. Mercedes Vehicle Carrier this impressive vehicle allows you to carry up to five cars in the cargo area, which is the equivalent of one small truck. Cars can be placed in two rows on top of each other, two at the bottom and three at the top. The floor of the second level can be adjusted depending on the dimensions of each car. And depending on the model of the car, you can climb to the second floor either through the rear side of the elevator or by tilting the floor. Iron Knight This powerful truck produced by Volvo was created to beat world records. During the 1,640-foot race, it reached an average maximum speed of about 80 miles per hour in just under 14 seconds. At a 3,281-foot distance, the average speed was 105 miles per hour, and the time was 21.29 seconds. The show took place in an abandoned airfield in northern Sweden. Unlike other trucks and large cars on our list, this one can truly be considered a racing model. If you like our video, then please like, comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching.